Hey viewers, how's it going? My name is Dividable Halo HD. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the topic of the games that 343 Industries has produced. Now, this is going to be somewhat of an opinionated video. I'm not going to release like a lot of opinions or express most of my opinions towards each of the games that 343 Industries has produced, but I'm going to be looking at some of the facts, some sales, and basically top 25 games of basically other stuff, top 10 multiplayer games, and whatnot. I'm just going to be releasing a lot of facts and stuff that basically 343 3 has done wrong with the Halo series since they took it over from Bungie. Now note 343 3 has also helped in the development of Halo Reach and a couple other minor Halo stuff but we're going to be focusing on more of the stuff that basically came out such as like Halo 4 their official main game, Halo MCC and many more. Now Halo basically the franchise has been going a bit downhill from basically how it used to be. Now a lot of people have noticed it and the Halo community is divided like there's a lot of people that are bashing 3 for 3 industry saying like a lot of stuff but those are people that are just trying to kind of get fame <laughs> sort of what this kind of video is but I'm trying to uh, voice my opinions and facts on what I've basically seen over the years. Now I've been playing Halo since basically Halo Combat Evolved. The first Halo game or the first video game I've ever purchased by myself when I was like a kid was Halo 2. I played Halo 3 a lot and I'm pretty sure a lot of people did. And Halo Wars was something different that I enjoyed too. Halo 3 ODST was kind of an expansion but I like the basically how they added in for like the other expansion for the multiplayer side. Um, basically the expansion maps or DLC maps as you would say. Halo Reach is probably one of my favorite games of all time to play. I still play to this day but I'm in the Halo Clan community so Halo Clan community basically strives off of Halo Reach. Now note the Halo Clan community is one reason why I do not like Halo 4 or Halo MCC. Halo 4 and Halo MCC is basi are basically games that are hard to support clans. It's not impossible to, but it's basically hard and difficult to support clans. And so many people in the Halo Reach clan, or in the Halo clan community in total, are right now are still playing Halo Reach as this video is being made and uploaded to this channel. Now, moving on, we're going to be talking about basically what 343 did not <laughs> include and what could have easily been prevented and kind of like supported support like all these fans in the Halo universe or Halo community. Now, let's move on to Halo 4. Halo 4 was 343's first official game that they released by themselves without the help of Bungie. Now, they did help create Halo Reach somewhat, but Bungie was kind of one of the main controllers of that game. Uh, Halo 4 was uh, a game that had a lot of people mixed, had like mixed emotions. The campaign I thought was amazing. A lot of people did not like it, or not really a lot, let's say like um, one fourth of people do not like the campaign, but Halo 4's campaign was amazing to, for me anyways. I really enjoyed the graphics, improved and everything like that. As for matchmaking, matchmaking was pretty good and it was pretty okay, but one thing that 343 did not have in matchmaking was the game Invasion and a couple other games that basically uh, a lot of people love to play in Halo Reach. Uh, Halo 4 was also missing a lot of stuff in custom games. It did not really support much for custom games like Halo Reach did. And one of the big things for custom games was Forge. And Forge World was not in Halo 4. Now, you didn't have to create an exact repli replica, but you could have e they could have easily created a map that was basically easy to forge on. Now, later on, like a couple months later after Halo 4 was released, they released Forge Island. But Forge Island was not the same compared to Forge World. There was honestly just like a couple islands and then water and I honestly preferred to have like something like Forge World had where it was like a lot of land and there was still water there like there was a lot of chunk of water where you could basically forge on but it was not added for Halo 4 and some of the maps actually a lot of the maps were pretty small compared to Halo Reach and it wasn't that enjoyable. Now Halo Reach was not one of the best selling well it is one of the best selling games but it did not match basically the copies sold for Halo 3 and Halo 3 was probably one of the most amazing games that a lot of people enjoyed especially for online custom games and the campaign was pretty awesome a lot of people loved the campaign it had a lot of the stuff that people loved and missed or basically <laughs> wish would be in I don't know how to explain it exactly but it was pretty great Halo MCC, one of the newest games that was basically released by Halo or by 343 Industries, was one of the games that had a lot of downfall. It's six months into the game's development, or six months after the release, the game is still not fixed. A lot of people are shocked, and in one of the videos released by Halo Follower, they talk about how the game basically 
did, was missing a lot of key aspects. And what I mean, but I, well, I'm not sure by Halo Follower, it's missing a lot of stuff. Like they did not confirm uh, invasion for Halo MC or not Halo MCC for Halo 5. That's something different. But in that, one of the I believe the Champion series was cancelled by 343 Industries or by basically Halo Community or something like that because the game could still not support basically having full lobbies or anything like that which means Halo MCC is not completely fixed a lot of people had the problem and right now currently Halo MCC is not even near the top 25 for online games at the moment and that's kind of an embarrassment Halo has always been one of the top 25 games for for basically the for basically the gaming industries for Xbox and these are stats for Xbox. Now for the top 10 best Xbox 360 multiplayer games ever created, Halo 4 is one of the top ones. But it does it, this is only multiplayer games, so it's not really talking about custom games or anything. Now Halo multiplayer games was a lot was had a lot of stuff that was pretty fun in it. Um, personally, I was kind of into Halo 4, or Halo 4, mainly the custom games, Forge, and I wasn't really that, like, into the matchmaking, but matchmaking proved to be one of the best ones for the top 10. I believe it is ranking in number 3, I'm not sure, for top, for according to uh, thegameranks.com. Halo on IGN has been rate. Uh, ranked number 12 for the best uh, Xbox 360 games of all time. Well, Halo 3 remains at number 4, which is understandable. Halo, basically, Halo 4 was, or Halo 3, my bad, sorry. Halo 3, my bad, was uh, one of the top selling games ever. And let's look at the sales right now. In 2007, Xbox 360 released Halo 3. The sales are 11.87 million sales. And that's one of the, basically the highest scores, making it number three. Now I'm not sure what the number one game was ranked, but Halo 3 was ranked number three on uh, a couple of websites and ranked number four on IGN. Halo 4 ranked for sales 8.94 million, and this is 2012 uh, when the game was released. Currently, the stats for Halo MCC are not out, but I can assure you that the stats are a lot lower. Now, a lot of people are saying that a lot of the games. A lot of the sales are pretty high for Halo 4, but a lot of the sales came from basically the first week. And the biggest hype of the Halo games that was probably ever released was for Halo 4. Now, no, YouTube is now popular around 2012 era or 2011 when the game was being hyped. And even Halo 5 is being hyped. Halo MCC was hyped dramatically, and it was a complete failure to a lot of people. It didn't meet the expectations. There was a lot of virus, or not about viruses, there was a lot of love basically problems and stuff that had to be patched. I believe the game's been patched like four or three times right now and the game is still not completely fixed. Now Halo 4 is ranking in basically the number three spots for best selling games for the Halo franchise so far while taking number two is Halo Reach with 9.5 or 9.52 million copies and Halo Reach is basically a game that wasn't necessarily that hyped. Halo 3 wasn't that hyped that much as well. And those games are one of the best selling games and most of the sales are coming in after the game has been released, after the first week. Uh, I was looking at some stats over YouTube as well, saying that basically the majority of the games for best selling games was Halo 4 ranked in for best selling games for only one week. Halo 3 ranked in for best selling games for five years. Halo Reach ranked for one year. And that's a major difference, uh, mainly because the uh, online matchmaking and everything is basically one of the main key aspects to uh, how the game expands and, or not how the game expands, on how the game does. And matchmaking for Halo 3 was probably one of the best uh, matchmakings a lot of people enjoyed. Halo Reach uh, had a pretty good matchmaking, it basically followed the same structure, and Halo 4 did. Now, what was Halo 4 missing? Uh, Halo 4 was missing some of the stuff, such as I said before, Invasion and as I said Forge World and the custom games and those are one of the big key aspects that a lot of people needed to uh, basically or a lot of people wanted and to basically enjoy the game now Halo MCC right now is still not fixed as I was <laughs> saying before in this video and that is due to countless patches and a lot of stuff now it is hard to basically make a game that has like four games in one and I do understand the struggle I'm not hating on them because of that but 
for basically matchmaking experience that is really hurting the sales for the Halo MCC. Now moving on to Halo 5, that is the next game that is supposed to be released for basically to, from, Halo, from 343 Industries. Halo 5 has been hyped pretty, pretty much a lot. And mainly it's because of the game, uh, basically YouTube channels like Halo Follower, but some videos that have been released on the, basically the Halo um, YouTube channel have also hyped it up. There's a lot of um, sneak peeks and everything being thrown there and there, and that's basically marketing, trying to like get the game hyped. And when everybody started to play the beta back on um, a couple of months ago, the game or the beta basically showed a lot of stuff that a lot of people enjoyed. Some people did not enjoy it, but then again, it's a really small percent. Like, say, um, 11 out of uh, 100 basically said that the game was pretty, or the beta was pretty shit, but the beta was pretty awesome, I gotta say. It was pretty amazing, in my opinion. Uh, the beta had something that a lot of people liked, such as basically the game was fast-paced. A lot of people said it was like Call of Duty, but no, this was not exactly Call of Duty. If you guys want to look, there's some other videos on YouTube showing on how basically in the development of Halo 5's beta, or even before the beta. Uh, the more structure of moving and everything like that was in place before Advanced Warfare even came out. So, it's nothing like Call of Duty whatsoever. And the guns and everything were a lot more powerful. A lot of people, like, really didn't use, uh, basically, the assault rifle in um, Halo 3 or Halo 4. But when you start using the assault rifle in, basically, Halo... Um, fives or the beta it was a lot more powerful and it was basically made the uh, weapon from going from useless to useful and it's kind of something that a lot of people are going to enjoy zooming in i don't mind a lot of the stuff that was in the beta there was some stuff that was wrong but that's for a later video or basically something that could have been easily fixed such as like the spartan calling outs and that's going to lead us into another topic for another video talking about the spartan call outs comparing to basically how why do they call out compared to all the other Halo games but yeah other than that that's it for this video I didn't really have much to say on um, much of the opinions I did release a lot of opinions actually but other than that this is like basically what the problems are for the Halo franchise and why it went downhill if you guys enjoyed be sure to subscribe to this channel for more Halo content I am in the Halo client community so if you guys want to go join just check out a couple of my videos I do a couple interviews and there and there but other than that, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, like this video up, comment down on what you guys believed, and I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye.